Hey, this is Rob. I'm just doing a little review here of a 1983 Inspector Gadget. He's one of my favorites in my collection right now. Took me a while to find him, but I've got him. I got two of them right now. One of them is downstairs on display, and this one's just been put away in storage, so I thought I'd bring him out. I got a couple accessories with him. I got one in his hat, his hand that comes out of his hat. And it just plugs in, just like that. And then you can move around different positions. It's, you can stick uh, stuff inside of it. Got a little hole in there. You can put his mallet or uh, umbrella inside. And then he's got his, uh, his copter hat. And same thing. You can just plug it into his hat right here in the hole. And just spin it around. There was a a pair of handlebars that came that comes with it too that come in the side here. A little groove there, and you just stick it in, and you can hold on to it. Then he's got some action figure uh, action features on him too. He's got an extending neck, extending hand, and extending feet. So for his uh, neck here, there's a little, if you can see it, a little blue button right there. It's over his butt. Let me press that. And it's not working. There we go. And this uh, neck pops out. Once in a while, when I push him back in, the trigger doesn't really reset, so it takes a couple of times with this guy because he's old. I get done, but I just love his head. This is a classic Inspector Gadget cartoon head. It's nice. He's got his hair. A little smirk on his face. And then his arm. Same thing. There's a little blue button there. You can just pop that out. Extends his hand out, then you just push it right back in. Very nice. Then his legs, the same thing. There's a little light blue buttons in his back of his calf there. And just press those down, and his feet will extend out. And he's got the little springs on it to mimic from the show when you had the springy legs. <clears throat> and uh, it's a good figure. Articulation is a little bit hindered some. Like his head, you can you know, barely turn it, but if you pop it out, you can get more move, more movement. But it shows his uh, neck there a little bit. His arms, they can do a full 360, but they're hindered by his jacket here. And there's no waist articulation. His legs can uh, move out like that. You can do a splits, go little gadget split. Then you can go forward. Then you can go all the way back. And then he's got his ratchet joints in his leg, his knees there. And his feet can uh, turn around too, but then. Sometimes you unlock the unlock them by doing that. But there's another version of this guy too, a Hasbro version, where he's got articulated elbows. Same figure, just got the elbows and his arms can uh, his shoulder has rotation to him. And yeah, he's Roughly regular size, like about 12 inches in his normal size. Like for a comparison, here is a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 9-inch like Green Ranger. So you can see how he towers over him. Oh yeah, and he's got the articulation in his hand here.
and correct the the missile hand has it too, the launcher one, but I don't have that, so can't really compare to that. But other than that, great figure. If you guys ever see him, I recommend this guy a lot. He's hard to find though, complete. And when you do, he's like 300 bucks complete. I got lucky with these ones. I got them for 20 bucks. Just limited accessories, but he's got his coat, which is what you need. Been better if I had a hand, his extra hand, but it's okay. If you had like a, if you had accessories, you can stick like his mallet or something probably in there. To make it look like he's got a mallet hand. And just get the mad agents with it. So, yeah. This is uh, 1983 Inspector Gadget. And uh, if you guys see him, get him. Don't pass this guy up. Alright, thank you for watching.